I would like, I would now like to call the January 24th, 2022 golf course advisory board meeting to order. Um, can we start with a roll call? So, uh, yes, Danny. <laughs> hey, Ann. Were you about to say something? No. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> All right, uh, Marshall Allen. Here, speaking. All right, myself, Ann Dorzenski, here. John Hay. Here. Paul Meyer. Mayor, here. Mayor, sorry. Uh, Al Wolden. Here, present. And we'll start with um, Ryan Williams. Yeah, you don't have to do the staff, Ann. Oh, um, okay. If you could just recognize council liaison, Tim Waters is here also. Uh, Tim Waters. I'm here. All right. Good evening. If that's all, um, we can get started. So do you want me to take it from here, Ann? If you'd like to, um, unless you just want me to go over the, uh, well, I guess our next order of business is order um, is nominating yep. a chair, correct? Correct. All right, is there any um, nominations for chair? Don't all speak up at once. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, if no one's speaking up, I'll be happy to do it. This is my second year, I think. But anyone else has been more, go for it. I nominate Marshall Allen. I will uh, second that nomination. All right. Uh, and vote. Uh, does that make it official, Jeff? Uh, no, if you could uh, have a vote, all those in right. favor. All right. Um, all in favor of Marshall Allen for chair. Aye. 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 I think that was unanimous. I think Marshall. I should vote no, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, before I hand it over to Marsh our new chair, Marshall Allen, I'm, I would uh, nominate myself for vice chair if to make that quick. Well, that really needs to come from the floor. So somebody on the board needs to nominate you for vice technically, procedurally. I'll move. Good. Uh, call for the vote. All in favor of Anna's vice Aye. president, vice chair. Aye. 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 Sounds unanimous. And I don't have the printed copy of the agenda in front of me, so you're going to have to help me through this since I was ill prepared to be in charge. No worries. I'll, uh, uh, I'll stumble through it uh, today if you'd like me to. Please. All right. So next uh, business is and, the... And before oh. we move on, oh. <laughs> uh, Jeff, let's, have, uh, let's have Paul introduce himself since this is his first uh, meeting tonight. Is it your Good. first meeting too back in? Uh, no, I was in at the, the fall, right? I was in one in the fall. Yeah. Yes. So why don't we have Paul just introduce himself and and then we can uh, go from there. Hey, thank you, Jeff. Uh, Paul Mayer, I'm a relatively recent resident of Longmont. My wife and I, both of us being retired, Moved here in the fall of 2015, be near our one granddaughter and her parents, and uh, we're we're certainly pleased that we made the move. I'm a a long time golfer. I've I've been playing golf for let's see, probably about 68 years now. And uh, as I said, I spent a lot of time caddying as a kid, so I've spent a lot of time on golf courses and uh, looking for a way that I might give something back to the community. I thought something golf related might be appropriate. I applied for the position, 
Uh, it was, apparently was uh, a, a tremendous uh, competition for the position, but I succeeded and I'm pleased to be a member of the board. Look forward to working with each of you. Look forward to meeting you in person and hope that I will be able to make some contribution. Thank you. Well, Paul, I'm glad that you were able to survive all the competition. Welcome to the board. Thank you. Thanks, Marshall. And since you've got yes. the agenda. Uh, next order is a uh, proof of approval of I guess, is it uh, approval of the agenda? Yes. Yep. Which everyone should have gotten a copy of. Yeah. And we as staff don't have okay, any. So now it's connected to the mic. I didn't hear what that said. I you didn't know. hear it either. So I have no changes for the the agenda. So unless the board has any, um, we would need a motion to approve the agenda. We would entertain a motion to approve the agenda, please. I make it so. I make a motion to approve the agenda. Second. Off for the vote, please. All in favor of approving the agenda. Aye. Aye. Unanimous. Moving on. All right, now we need the approval of previous uh, meeting minutes, which was October 25th, 2021. I recommend we approve the minutes of the previous meeting. All, all in favor? Aye. We're approving Aye. the prior minutes. And unanimous again. Thank you. All right. Next item. Uh, next item is the public is invited to be heard. And we don't Danny. have any public here. So, yeah. Danny, and, we let, let's and, just, Danny, do we have anybody that wanted to talk tonight? No. Okay. So we'll just uh, move to the next item. All right. Next item is old business. And it looks like, or yeah, old business. Communications. Yeah. Golf, the golf professional report reports. Anybody not on, on yours, Ann? So this is, this is the time when uh, the three golf pros kind of do their monthly summary of golf. And I'm thinking they'll talk a little bit about all of uh, 2021. Uh, Keith, could you go first? Sure. Evening, everybody. Good evening, Welcome. Keith. Welcome to the new member. Congratulations, Paul. Nice Thank to you. have you aboard. Thank you. Uh, as far as Twin Peaks for 2021, I would say that uh, we set a record this year. This is probably the best year. Well, it, it will go down as the best year we ever had at Twin Peaks. And I think probably the best year we ever had in the golf fund as well. Uh, we came up uh, just short of $1.3 million in revenue and played 41,300 rounds for the, uh, for the year. And it just kept on going to the point that... Uh, we were actually happy to see the snow come and to see the golf course get a break because we were losing between between the geese and just just the uh, the overuse of the golf course when the grass isn't growing. We were losing a lot of turf out there, so uh, Keith, it's not, there the, any, not the worst thing. You, Keith, can you point to anything which contributed to the success this season? I, I think Marshall, it's still the continued uh, COVID run that we're having. Uh, yeah. A lot of folks uh, took up the game in 2020. They enjoyed the game. They had good experiences for the most part, I think. And a lot of them returned and, and are playing again uh, in 2021. Um, so I, I think that, it, it, and again, there's just not a lot of things that you could do indoors for a lot of 2021. And, and it gave people an opportunity to continue to play golf and get out more. And I think that really continues to help grow the game. Uh, sitting think, in my office practicing putting gets old. <laughs> well, but I'll bet your stroke is pure. <laughs> I'm no better than when you met me 10 years ago. <laughs> well, we, we got to get you back in lessons again then. I know, I, truthfully. <laughs> but uh, no, I think it was a great year. I'm looking forward to this year. I think that uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens. Uh, Haystack Mountain Golf Course closed in the fall. 
And it will be interesting to see what sort of effect that has on the city of Longmont. You know, I figure that, that there's probably at least 20 to 30,000 rounds of golf that were played at Haystack. And I don't know that they can move to Flatirons because Flatirons, I suspect, is really full, being the only public golf course in Boulder. So, you know, I think it'll have a good effect for, for uh, City of Longmont, Sunset, and Twin Peaks particularly. We'll wait and see. We saw a lot of it in the, uh, in the fall for sure. So hopefully things continue. We continue to stay really busy once we get open again. Any questions for Twin Peaks? Doesn't appear to be. So moving on, Jeff, you have another pro. Uh, Ryan, Ryan, why don't you go next? All right. Um, I will. I'll echo Keith on um, basically the year that we had. Uh, twenty twenty one was. I mean, twenty twenty was a great year, um, considering everything that happened with COVID. COVID, and then twenty twenty one kind of just topped twenty twenty. Um, sunset uh, round wise, we did uh, thirty four thousand uh, two hundred ninety nine rounds. Um, revenue wise, um, came in at $575,417, definitely the best round I think on record for sunset. Um, uh, Keith, if you've had anything better, you tell me, cause you were there well before me. And, um, but other than that, I mean, literally this is definitely, Definitely was a great year, and I hope it keeps moving in that direction. But I am very thankful that the courses are getting that break. Like Keith said, we needed we needed a break. The courses were taking an absolute beating um, towards the end of uh, December. So, but I'll keep it sweet, it's short and sweet there. So, any questions? Hearing none, let's move on. Sam, hello everybody. Board members, Mr. Waters and Paul, welcome to the uh, welcome to the board. Thank you very much for um, signing up. We look forward to meeting you and um, seeing you out at the golf course here. Thank you. Um, so yeah, Keith and uh, Ryan really just summed it up. I mean, golf is busy across the country. It's not just Longmont. It's it's been unbelievable. And to give you an example, um, for Ute Creek. The past 10 years, our typical round count is 30, 32 to 35,000 rounds a year. Typical revenues are 1.2, 1.3 million. Uh, this year, 45,000 rounds and just shy of 1.9 million. It's, um, it's pretty remarkable. Golf is very, very strong. Um, and every indication that I have seen is going to Going into 22, we're just hoping for the same. Um, the demand is extremely strong. Last month of the 18 days that we were open, um, we did 1,640 rounds. I mean, when the weather's good, the phone rings off the hook, the tee sheets are full, and it's just been very nice enjoying the demand. Any questions? Thank okay, you. Okay, moving on. Next item, please. Well, the, next, the next item is new business. We do not have any old business. So each January, we have some uh, housekeeping things that we need to do. And the first item is designating the meeting day and time. Um, we currently meet the fourth Monday at six. If everybody's okay with that, we'd need a motion to accept that and, and then a yeah. vote. Chair would entertain a motion to maintain the same date and time for the meetings. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Second. Hearing none, it's confirmed. All right. When we can go back to meeting in uh, person, we will need to designate the Twin Peaks uh, Clubhouse as our formal meeting location and uh, would continue to like to do that. So we'd need a, uh, a motion and a vote on that also. All in favor of meeting in person at Twin Peaks when we're capable of doing so? Vote, Aye. please. It appears to be unanimous. 
Thank you, Jeff. Then the next item is um, the location of where we post our agendas for our meetings. And that is on the city website. We would need a motion to approve that. Motion so to approve. All in favor? Any All opposed? Right. So moved. All right. And then the uh, final thing on new under new business is to discuss our uh, golf board calendar for 2022. In your packet was a list of uh, suggested uh, topics that we as staff and the golf pros could uh, bring to you. I'll, I'll just run through them really quick. And then if we could just have uh, any other suggestions that you might have or uh, pick out the ones that uh, you feel are, are the ones you want to hear. Um, yeah. Before we do that, could I just get a clarification, please? Yes. Uh -huh. uh, we approved that we would meet the fourth Monday at 6 p.m. Is that monthly? Generally, it is if we have business. And that's kind of right. what, what we're talking about right now. Um, the last couple of years, the, the boards uh, have agreed to meet in January and February, and then from there, meet every other month. And based on what we have for topics that you all want to hear about tonight will help drive whether we will meet every month or not. What I will do is based on the feedback you give me this evening, I'll plug that into a calendar and we'll review that and make uh, our final approval of our schedule for 22 at the February meeting. Thank you. Yep. And any other questions on that? So the first topic is for the last several years, um, the maintenance staff, uh, Ryan and Dan, as well as the pros have done uh, presentations about the operation of the, the golf courses and the projects that we've worked on. Um, I think those have been received very well and would suggest we would continue that. We could have a, a sometime in the summer, a conversation about the course conditions. Uh, we could have the golf professionals talk about the tournament schedule for the year and explain to you all um, how people get a, a tournament scheduled. Um, the next item we could discuss is the Sunset Golf Course 100th year celebration. Um, some of uh, the, the staff from golf, as well as some of the recreation staff met last week to talk about uh, selecting a date for that celebration. And we'd like to uh, share more information as that's developed with you. Um, right now, we are looking at uh, Thursday, August 18th at uh, five o'clock as our date uh, that uh, we at least have penciled in at this point in time. Um, Dan and Ryan could, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Dan and Ryan could talk about the airification plan and, and uh, how they do that in the spring and fall, uh, along with maintenance practices. We could continue to have uh, updates on the bond project, uh, specifically the uh, U Creek maintenance facility and yeah. the work we're current, currently doing on the design of the irrigation system at Twin Peaks. We could talk about uh, instructional opportunities for youth in our community, uh, potential of drought, and if that, there will be any impact on uh, our golf operations this year. We could talk about our five-year capital projects, staffing challenges, uh, uh, everywhere you go. I think everybody's seeing that um, whether it's restaurants or the grocery store, everybody's struggling to hire a, enough staff. Um, we could talk about the U Creek uh, clubhouse design. Um, we uh, were able to have that, uh, thank you, Tim, to have the design of the clubhouse uh, included in this year's budget. And we will be starting that work uh, uh, probably second quarter of, of this year. 
And then also at the uh, February meetings, I usually talk a little bit about the Golf Enterprise Fund, our budget, and uh, capital improvement projects, and kind of how that process works. So again, those are just suggested topics. If you have any others you'd like to, to add to that list, but would like your feedback on whether any of those interest you as board members or, or how you would like to plan for 2022. Before I call for a vote on Jeff's recommendations, are there any other items board members would like to have included? I, I just have, this is more of a question than an item. You know, um, I play a lot of golf in Longmont, obviously, and I get, I hear comments and feedback from the public. I mean, should we have somewhere there to pass it on to the pros? I mean, I, some of it I talked to them at the counter about, but some of it's just, you know, like, why aren't the sprinkler heads uh, have yardage distance, distance at you Creek? And will we ever level off the tee boxes and, and things like that? I don't know if there's any place in these meetings for those comments that we hear from the public. We can, we can handle those out that way, or you certainly can call me or email me anytime. And we could review that. And, and then depending on how it would fit into agenda, we could add that. A lot of those operational things I'd rather hear up front so that yeah. rather than having to wait for another meeting that if if possible, staff and the pros could deal, deal with that right away. Al, I just okay. would recommend that as you hear these items, complaints or compliments even, that they individually get a hold of Jeff's office and turn it in as he suggests firsthand. Yeah, a lot of them are, you know, are uh, related to the course where I'm at. I usually talk to one of the pros about it. They're right. pretty aware. We have a pretty good open dialogue with all three of them. Okay. And sometimes it's just, if I had the information, maybe I could, uh, for lack of a better term, quiet some of the comments I hear because, you know, golfers can be pretty vocal about things they don't care for. You know what I mean? Like, Especially if they've three putted. Right. Exactly. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. And now, as far as the agenda items, I think it's a great agenda. And, and I love hearing about the maintenance and the things we're doing. I've learned a ton over the last year about golf and golf courses. Okay. Well, the and chair would entertain a motion that all the various items that Jeff enumerated uh, as appropriate be included in our in our regularly scheduled meetings. Call for the vote. I'll second that motion. Thank you. Right. It's unanimous. Thanks, Jeff. Okay. I will uh, bring a calendar back to you uh, in February with uh, these items spread out through the year and We'll uh, get your final direction at that meeting then in February. Well, according to the agenda, I finally found in my trash. Um, <laughs> hey, hey, COVID just has eaten me alive. Uh, item nine, I think, items from staff. Are there any additional staff related issues or items? <clears throat> I, I do not have any. Okay. Um, Items from the board. Yeah, let me just say one thing uh, about, and believe it or not, my wife and I uh, go to Las Vegas about four or five or six times a year. And we go there, we play golf. And so this last year, I was really very curious as to, you know, how they were doing on, and they were just chock a block full. Just, and I couldn't believe it. I thought, well, where's this all coming from? And they just said, they <coughs> said that so many people have been laid off from the hotels. That, that that's what they were doing was playing golf because they had nothing else to do. So it's some place where golf is, you know, year round, uh, it was just still <coughs> didn't do anything ever. So I guess it's all over the country. It's just been this way. Well, John, as you head to Vegas, if you need anyone to carry your bag, you might <laughs> check with the board. <laughs> okay. Believe me, we, we, I, we're, we're scheduled in April. That's our first trip this year. I've been in Florida all winter. It's it's no different down here, although it might be a little more common this time of year. But I was here in late November, early Feb, uh, December, and it was really busy down here also, which is uncommon for that time of year. So I guess it's the same everywhere in the U.S. According to the agenda, I finally found we only we have no other items before we adjourn. I might ask if there's anything we've overlooked or wonder re-clarify or go back and discuss in further detail? Um, I'm, I would like to just uh, say actually to all of the pros, I'd 
kind of would like to hear about all the social stuff that the that's going on at the golf courses, like your um, hundred year anniversary. Like, I like golf and the social aspect of it. So, because I know Keith, you had a concert last year that I think you said turned out well, and those kind of things. Yeah, as we as we get more of those. Uh, that information, we will definitely pass that along to you. And feel free to reach out to me at the golf course too, Anne, on, on any of that stuff. We have not scheduled the concert yet, but I suspect that's coming. Uh, we, we, you know, like I said, it was a success, so we I think we want to try it again. And Ethan, and those pretty widely promoted in the community? I would say it was fairly well promoted, yeah. I mean, I, I wasn't involved in the promotion of it, so that would kind of, you'd have to speak to Sam, uh, who, who works okay. down there with Jeff. And, right. uh, but yeah, I mean, for, for a first time doing it, I think we had just the right amount of turnout. Oh, that's great. So that we, we were able to learn from it and we were able to, you know, just determine whether or not we want to go forward and do it again. Okay. And as far as, uh, the, the, the celebration at sunset and by all means, reach out to Ryan because he's going to be having lots of information on that to talk to you about. And Ryan, to, to your point yeah. earlier, Ryan, that, to my knowledge, I think the best year that I remember sunset was 521. So you surpassed that last year. Good to know. I didn't I didn't go that far back in the in the computer system if we, if we didn't really <laughs> have that back when I was a kid when I was it, playing there, right? It doesn't go that far back. I think that yep. was uh if I'm not mistaken, that was 97 or 98. That would have been the first year I moved out here then. So, yeah. I was, <laughs> Ryan, no, I think we'll we'll all be interested at our next meeting of maybe having you discuss briefly the, some of the items that are being discussed for the celebration. And that's what I was going to mention. I was going to say, right. you know, the next meeting, I'll, I'll, we'll put some, some, some stuff together, uh, myself and Jeff and, and the rest of the, the, the group in, involved. We'll, uh, we'll sit down, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it, and we'll present some stuff to, to let you guys know what we're planning, what we're thinking. And, and see how it goes from there. Well, like you said, it was a it's a big uh, accomplishment, or yeah. however you want to state it, that not many it's golf historical. courses. Exactly. So it's a historical event for golf and for the city. Not many public facilities for the city of Longmont are in function at 100 years, and and if they are, fantastic. You know, it's 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 a difficult it's difficult to keep something running for that long. Um, so yeah, we're excited about it. I've, I've already got hats um, that I've ordered. I got a lot more hats, a lot more apparel coming um, for it. So it's, it's going to be good. It's going to be a good year for, for golf and for just the historical side of, of sunset. So we're excited. Yeah. And my last note, Sam, I'm really excited to learn more about the Ute Creek clubhouse design. Cause I mean, that is, that's huge. <laughs> so am I, Ann. And, and again, as, as Jeff said, thank you so much, Tim, for making this happen. It's extremely exciting. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing what's going to happen with that. It's going to be fun. I mean, it's long overdue. I mean, the main, the main facility is getting done. Um, out of all of our competition, and I'm not complaining, we have the worst clubhouse on the northern front range of Colorado. And it needs to happen at some point. So well, I'm looking Sam, forward to it as well. You said worse in terms of size, capability, what? Yes and yes. <laughs> All of the above. <laughs> yes. I mean, it's we we we've got indoor seating for 24 people. That's small. I mean, it that's kind of says it all. I mean it. It needs to happen at some point. I'm glad we're finally getting the getting the wheels in motion here. Sam, for what it's worth, and Jeff, uh, on my on my to do list, first of every month, is to check with Harold Dominguez on exactly where that project is. Thank you. Tim. It, it, it won't get behind schedule. I can promise Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to the progress on this. It's going to be fun. Good. Any other items, real quickly, before we adjourn? Well, let me apologize for my shaky start. I wasn't as prepared as obviously I needed to be, and that will not happen again. I've been chair before other things, so I think I know what to do. I just need to do, do it. 
I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Let's second that motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 We are adjourned. Thank you so very much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, Thank guys. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Good night. Good night.